Okay, here's my latest astrophotography setup. This is using a refractor. I'm using a refractor now. I uh, still have my 8SC with the Orion short tube, dew shield and dew heaters and focal reducer, all that stuff still here. I'm just using this for smaller objects and planets and things like that. Things that need a nice, uh, good uh, focal length. Stuff that's far, far away and real small. Like tiny galaxies and stuff like that but for wider fields since nebulas are coming out now it's just that time of year I wanted a little bit wider view so i switched to this is the sky watcher uh here it is right here the ed880 which is 80 millimeter and 600 millimeter focal length i don't have a focal reducer yet i'm just using the scope just how it is and it's still a pretty good wide field but in the future, I probably will get the focal reducer just to widen it up just a little bit, reduce the focus. As far as um, finder scope, it didn't come with any of that. This scope was actually used from Cloudy Night, so it was a good deal on it. I just took uh, my finder that came with my 8SC, since I'm using a tail rad on my 8SC. I put this one on here just with some double-sided tape, just for basic centering before you do, um, when you do the one-star alignment, before you do the uh, plate solve and everything like that with Sequence Generator Pro. As far as in the back, um, I could not get focus with the, achieve focus with the ASI 1600 millimeter, the cool camera. I had to actually use the Vero lock that came, that I had on my 8SC. I just plugged it into the back of here, then kept everything the same and just moved the focus back a little bit and went right into focus, just perfect. So it looks like all the stuff is just interchangeable. When I use my 8SC, I just loosen these thumb screws right here, slide this off, slide it right back into the ASC. And this, Scope right here has the um, two focuses, one, two, two speed focuses. One's for ma major focus, and this, this one right here is for the final adjustment. Then you can lock it at the bottom down here. I did have to make a few adjustments, like a lot of people I found out. These um, Allen wrenches down here, these little tiny ones to adjust everything because the focus was sliding a little bit. I did from the back, you see the marks on it. So everyone recommended just, uh, this is a little tutorial like you just printed out and it shows you how to adjust these small screws and things in here to adjust it where you get the just enough friction and now focus pretty much stays on I took a tiny sharp and put the line where it should be and so far everything's holding um all my stars are still in focus and all that and i know some people um use only uh what is it, a triplet refractor this is a what do you call it? i guess a doublet is that how they pronounce it uh i just got a great price on this one used that's why i picked this one up i mean it's still 600 millimeters so far i'm happy with my photo results so i know some people don't want to use a doublet. They swear by triplets, but hey, so far the photos I saw with this one, just by Googling around, looking at it, it seems pretty good. I mean, I'm still beginning with astrophotography, so that's why I chose this one and I couldn't beat the price on it. So that's why I had to jump on it. And if maybe one day I might upgrade to something different, but as of right now, I'm happy with these results. And I guess it's all about how you process your pictures on how everything comes out. Because some people use you know, higher focal length scopes and all kind of things and take better pictures than what I've, what I've, I've ever taken. And, but it's, I guess it's all in your personal preference on how you like your photos to be. Main, main scope, I have a dew heater right here. And I also have, um, this is a generic 50 millimeter guide scope right here. Real generic. It's, I don't think it has a name on it. I got it off Amazon. I mean, it looks just identical to the Orion ones that got out there. So I just, it's all metal. Only thing is the scope rings came with these nylon thumb screws. I got them pretty tight right now. My guidance has been real good on this AVX mount. I've got a couple of videos with it. Might eventually get some metal ones. And on here, this guide scope, I just took my Lobestar X2 guide cam. They, this on my, this normally is on my um, Orion short tube. I just slipped it in the back of here, adjusted this a little bit and went right into focus, just perfect. So Lobestar is still on here. I still have my filter wheel. A position on the back here. What I had to do is my ADSC, I normally had this turned down. I had to turn to the side like that because when the scope tilts way back, it almost hits the legs a little bit when it, if, it's, if all this is pointing down. So turn to the side. So far, I've been pretty good as far as meridian flips and nothing's banging into the legs and all that. So everything, I just cable management, just route everything to here, zip tied down, comes down to my um, dew heater controller right here, dew zapper. And still got my same, it's the same AVX mount that I've always had. Um, just labels on everything, dew heater power supply, camera fan power supply, and the mountain power supply. Everything's still here. 
zip ties all the way to the power strip that I have on here. And still the same hand control, USB on it. This uh, USB 3.0 powered hub. That's one thing, you gotta get a powered hub if you power a few devices with USB 3.0 power supplies right here. Just have one main USB vocal cord. It plugs to my laptop that I keep outside in a um, Rubbermaid case tub. And one main power cord just goes outside. Everything's still, cable management's still very neat. Nothing's hanging. The same for my stress relief. I'm off of here, I just hang it right here and it takes the stress off and it works all night long. Pole mask was still up here. Uh, only thing different I did get was uh, got a batten off mask for, no, I haven't used it yet. It came in a couple days ago. It's just a uh, basic Orion one. I think it was like maybe $12 or something. So it slips on the front here and it should help out with focusing. So far I've had great luck just focusing without this, but I want to give it a shot since I use one for the 8SC and everyone else, is, everyone else uses them too. I'm at um, just one counterweight. I think this is a seven pound, uh, one of the generic Orion ones. I didn't have to use the big counterweight this that you gotta use for the ASC because it's too much weight and this scope is a lot lighter. So that's probably one reason why it guides a lot better because it's less, way less weight on this AVX mount. So as of now, my um, pictures I've been taking have been pretty good, but it's still a learning process. I'm still a beginner when it comes to actual photography, hopefully. We get a lot more clear nights in the future and this winter so I can continue taking pictures of deep sky objects.